You're watching MMA Odds Breaker. I'm Frank Trigg. Of course, that's Rick Hahn. Getting ready to fight Douglas Lima coming up here on Bellator April 18th. Rick, you're in, uh, right now in Montreal. How's the training camp been up so far up there? Uh, it's been good. Um, you know, as training camps go, it has its ups and downs. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's been rough, but it's also been good. You know, uh, earlier in the camp, it was a rough training camp. And um, the last about six weeks is really, uh, I turned around and, and felt a lot better. And things are going really well. I how feel long, good. How long is your training camp? Uh, it's been about eight weeks, maybe a little longer. So what happened the first couple of weeks that made it rough? Just getting old, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not as young as I used, not as young as I used to be, and um, you know, it's just you got good guys up here, and, and uh, you know, so it, it's it's tough. But uh, every training camp's like that, you know. It's just part of the game, and as you know, and uh, so it's uh, just part of the process. I think part of the problem with TriStar is too is that there's so many good guys up there training that when you show up for the beginning beginning of your training camp, a lot of your training partners are in the middle or the end of their training camp. So when you start working out with them, yeah. they've already been six weeks into it, and you're behind. You're trying to get your timing down, get your speed up, get your cardio up, and they've already got theirs dialed in. And so it is a little bit, it is a little, a little rough to deal with, you know, there at the end, where you kind of, it takes a little bit, a couple of weeks to kind of get yourself back together again. Were any of those guys who are giving you problems the first couple of weeks? Are they still around, and are you now giving them problems? Um, no, like like you said, a lot of you guys had fights uh, when I first got into camp, and they had, they already fought. Um, so they've been on vacation, so they haven't been back to, to sparring a lot of them, but, uh, you know, um, it's exactly how it is. You know, I, I used to sometimes want to come into the training camp already in shape. Um, but then it tends to be, uh, a, a super long training camp and, and, you know, it just drags and it's, it's a little tough, tougher that way, I think in, in the long run. Well, also too, as you said earlier, you know, you're getting older, it's harder to keep you know, that kind of shape for a longer period of time. You almost have to bring it up and blast blast it up for the fight, bring it back down and bring it up again, as opposed to when we were younger, we could kind of keep it up and keep it leveled. You know, always be kind of in shape. Are you, do, do you find yourself doing a lot more technique and a lot less hard goes in between camps now than you did, say, three years ago? I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, when I, if I was 25, 20 years old, I could do a 12-week camp balls to the wall no problem you know um now obviously you got to train smarter not harder and uh yeah so it's more technique more working on uh the finer points of, of my game as opposed to just brawling you know three or four times a week and you know you're just banged up the whole time and just it's not productive that way well your opponent's younger than you obviously uh, but, but not by too too much how do you think he's getting through his training camp you think he's having the same issues that you are or because, remember, he lives and trains the same place. He doesn't travel like you do. You go from Boston up to Montreal for your training camp. He stays in the same spot. Do you think that he's got a training camp that's a little bit easier on the mental side because he walks in, he's, seen that, he's already seen that guy for eight weeks? Um, possibly. You know, um, training camps are always hard. You know, there's always ups and downs. Uh, it just depends uh, on, on your, your team and, and how you react to that. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's had a rough training camp. Preparing for this fight is a big deal for him, um, as 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 me as well. So, you know, uh, mentally, I'm sure I'm sure it's maybe a little easier for him. You know, he stays uh, right where he is at home and and with his family the whole time. Um, so for me, it's a little, obviously a little different on the mental side. I got to be up here and you know uh, be away from my family and stuff. But uh, you know, it's just part of the process. I got you got to do what I got to do. How do you think this fight's going to go? I mean, we've seen Lima fight before. He kind of changes up his game plan depending on what the guy puts in front of him. You pose a different problem than most other guys, obviously, because you're high Olympic-level judo that no one else has got, no one else that he's competed against has, really. What do you think he's going to try to do, and do you think he's going to be any different at all than, than what we've seen in the last three or four fights from him? Um, I don't think so. I think he's going to think his striking's better than mine. Um, he's obviously a bigger welterweight than I am. Um, I think he's just going to come forward and just try to smash me. Um, you know, he's, he, he relies a lot on, on his strikes and, uh, I haven't seen too much of him using his clinch work, I think, in his, his jujitsu, unless he's really taken down, which hasn't been too often. Um, I think Askren's only once really gotten him down in, in recent fights that I've seen, so. Is the game, obviously, because the length, reach, and height advantage that he has, you're not going to spend too much time on the feet. It's going to be a lot of, you know, on the outside, rather. You're going to spend a lot of time inside. 
Are you gonna try and take him off his feet and make it a ground matchup as much as you can, or are you gonna try and make it more of a brawling, grinding kind of kind of fight on the inside? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna kind of feel it out and see where he's at and, and kind of adjust with that. Um, you know, I can do either either one, either style. You know, I can I can grind it out. I can I can play outside in the distance and and. Uh, I'm confident in my striking against his. I think that, uh, you know, I match up well with that. You know, I'm smaller, I'm faster, so I have some advantage, I think, uh, in terms of striking. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll see. I'll see how he reacts to everything and, and, and kind of play it by, by that. Well, Rick, thanks for coming out here. The MAI's big and spending a couple minutes with us. We appreciate it. Good luck against Douglas Lima. We'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Thank you.